an eerily quiet Gare de Lyon in Paris. As the strike enters its second day, stations which would normally be thronged with commuters are nearly empty, meaning severe disruption for thousands. On a normal day, it takes me about an hour to get to work. Today, I left home at 7 and hope to arrive by 9, at best. Like on Thursday, 90% of high-speed trains are cancelled, as are 70% of regional trains. We have no trains to travel back to Chartres. Not a single train today. We're back from a trip across the eastern Alsace region, but unlike people who work and take public transportations daily, we're retired. So our situation is different. We'll find alternative ways to quietly go home. But despite the disruption, many French people strongly support the strike, with a recent poll suggesting that 68% believe the cause is a just one. The strike has affected me, but I totally understand the protest. We'll all be affected by this reform. I regret that elderly people are forced to get jobs like paper distributions so they can survive. This although they've worked all their lives. Strikers say President Macron's proposal to create a single national pension scheme will mean everyone having to work for longer and for less money. While the French government says the current model is too generous to certain workers and claims their proposals will mean a fairer system overall.